It's finally summertime. You've been seeing people decorate their hair with friendship bracelet thread. So if you've been wondering how to do it, I'm gonna be showing you how to hair wrap your hair today. All you need is some friendship bracelet string. You can pick anywhere from two to four colors. I recommend doing three. These are my three colors going with a nautical theme. And before we start, just make sure your hair is all brushed out and there's no knots. Just a reminder, this works on all hair types. So if you wanna try this, I highly recommend. So first we have to decide which section of hair we're doing. Some people like to do them underneath and have it peek out. Today, I'm gonna to be taking my section from the top of my head. We're really not taking a huge section here, just a small piece so that I can do a little braid with it. The neater it is, less likely that any of the threads will be catching on loose hairs. All right, the braid is finished. Our next step is gonna be tying it off with a rubber band. I got this multi-pack of rubber bands for only a couple dollars. You can choose to pick a color that's close to your natural hair color or something that's close to the colors that you're using in your thread. So I'm taking two small blue rubber bands. I'm gonna tie one to the very top of my braid. Or try not to pick up any surrounding pieces that aren't part of your braid to avoid any hair pulling. This top rubber band is secure and the second one is just gonna secure the end of the braid. So I'm gonna be pulling any hair back that isn't a part of the braid. You're gonna want all of the string lengths to be identical and you're gonna want it to be at least two to three times longer than the length of your hair. I'm gonna be folding the string in half so it should look like this and follow all the way down to a good length longer than the hair. Try not to make it too long because then it can start getting tangled at the ends. I'm going to take my next color, hold it along the length of the string that I already cut, and just keep pulling it until it matches the same length. So now our string should look like this. Sort of has a loop in the middle. We are going to take this loop to the very top of our braid where we put that first rubber band so it has something to grip onto. And you're going to want to make a tight knot right here. So now you should technically have six pieces of string hanging down. And we're gonna sort our string by the colors. At two pieces of string, make one section per color. I have my beige, my light blue, and my dark blue here. You're gonna take your first section, you're gonna wrap it around the braid and the two remaining colors. To avoid having any of your hair color peek through, I like to wrap a couple times around and then I push the string up here to see how far I've actually gone down the braid. Okay, I've gotten this dark blue section to a size that I like and now I'm just gonna drop this dark blue thread and I'm gonna pick up this light blue and just start wrapping the same as I did before. Yeah, I've moved on to the beige string and once I'm done with the beige section, I'm gonna go back to the dark blue that I used first to create a nice cohesive color pattern. I'm gonna keep doing chunks of blue, light blue, and beige. I'm gonna finish wrapping off camera and then I'll show you how to tie it off when we're done. All right, I am finishing up my hair wrap. And I just wanted to make a little disclaimer. I am not the inventor of hair wraps. I used to do this with my friends when we were in middle school and I honestly think it looks so pretty. I love that you can add a burst of color to your hair without dyeing it. So I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. Like I said, I didn't make it up, so I'm just showing you how I learned to do hair wrap. And as long as you follow the steps with patience, a neat tight braid, and you don't leave it in for too long, then your hair should be just fine when you take it out. I recommend leaving them in anywhere from one to three weeks. I don't want you to have to cut any of your hair off, so just be careful and gentle with your hair. And yes, you can wash your hair with this in. I've never had a problem with that. On that note, I'm on my last beige section, so I'm gonna be wrapping this up, literally, and showing you how to tie it off. We're literally gonna tie this off like a regular knot. I'm gonna pull it tightly so it secures the knot at the end of the rubber band. If you wanna make sure the hair up is extremely secure on the end, you can even add another rubber band on top of the threads. Now we're gonna be very careful to snip the ends of the string without cutting our hair. And look at that, what a fun pop of color. And that's it. Like I said, I recommend keeping it in for one to three weeks. To take it out, I like to just unravel it and use small eyebrow scissors. Please be careful with this. Please don't cut your hair. Please don't rip your hair. I hope you enjoy your hair wraps as much as I do. Comment down below if you're gonna try this and what colors you would pick. And let me know if you need another tutorial of me showing you how to take this out when I end up taking mine down. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more beauty and lifestyle inspo. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.